Good morning. Uh, thanks for coming out to our joint uh, unified fuels mitigation project between the County of San Bernardino and the County Fire Protection District. My name is Mike Horton. I'll be your moderator for this press conference. And I think you're really gonna enjoy the uh, goats today. We have uh, uh, some good speakers that will talk on the topics of how we started this program. Uh, before we get started, I'd like to remind you to please keep in mind your social distancing and wear your masks. So this project started out in our annual briefing with land use services when we talk about defensible space across the county. Somebody in the meeting mentioned, why don't we get goats? So we looked into it a little bit and we found that several other jurisdictions are using grazing animals to do fuels mitigation. And we found that it's a very environmental friendly way of doing that. So we decided to go ahead and give, uh, give it a shot with this pilot project. And so far it's very successful. The goats have been out here for a couple days. And when you get the opportunity to take a look over the side and, uh, and look at the work, the incredible work that they're doing uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Keep in mind the fence is electrified. If you touch any two wires on the fence, you'll get that cross connection and it will give you a little zap. So please be careful when you're up there. Today uh, we have some dignitaries present that I would like to introduce. And they are Chairman of the Board of Supervisors, Chairman Kurt Hagman, 5th District Supervisor, Josie Gonzalez, 5th Ward City Councilman from the City of San Bernardino, Henry Nickel, 4th Ward City Councilman, Fred Charette, our Fire Chief and Fire Warden, Dan Muncy, our Deputy Chief of Operations is Tom Marshall, the chief for the city of San Bernardino in this division is Dan Mejia. Jessica Azuna is the uh, leader of the new Fire Safe Council in the Little Mountain area. Miguel Guerrero, general manager and divine arson day. <laughs> I'm gonna mess that word up. City of San Bernardino Municipal Water District. We wanna give them a shout out for providing the two to 300 gallons a day that these goats need for watering. Also with us is Land Use Supervisors, uh, Joanna Cavazos and Andreas Diaz, as well as Chief Andy Wingert from the Land Use uh, Code Enforcement Section of San Bernardino County. Not to take up too much time, I'd like to go ahead and introduce our next speaker, which will be your Fire Chief, Fire Warden, Chief Muncie. Good morning all. Is there any residents that are with us in the audience? Thank you for being here. 25 years ago, I think I fought my first fire on this, this hill. And every year we come back and we fight fire. I was right over here in this cul-de-sac and we pull lines around this house at the end here. Uh, we, as a fire department, realize that sure, it's our job to respond to fires, but it's our greater responsibility to prevent fires from happening. I want to thank all the members of our fire department, our fire marshal, the Board of Supervisors who are incredibly supportive, the City of San Bernardino and their council members, Code Enforcement and the Water District who's helping us uh, water the kids every single day. Community risk reduction is as important to me as a fire chief. We can't continue to respond to 150,000 plus calls for service each year. We need to partner with our community members to identify the risk and then to mitigate these risks. The community is out here in support and I, I appreciate it. They're gonna have goats on their hills. They, they smell a little bit funny. I'm sorry about that. But what are the benefits? Is that we're gonna be able to remove this fuel before a fire starts. I wish that we had enough goats to remove all the vegetation. These goats eat about an acre a day. They take about 400 gallons of water a day to, to, to water after all that, that great grass, I guess. But as we look at Little Mountain, we realize that there's, there's darn near a couple thousand acres here. So if we were to do that, it would take all summer with these goats. Instead, we're just taking the vegetation out around these houses to make sure that they're properly protected. The County Fire District has continued to look at innovative ways to protect our community. We realize the threats that are facing us and we, we welcome the support of the community and our cooperators that allowed this day to be possible. Thank you all for your efforts.
Thank you, Chief. Uh, my name is Kurt Hagman. I'm the Chairman of the Board of Supervisors. I want to say thank you all for being here. This is a great partnership between uh, San Bernardino County, the Fire District, its residents. If we were in 2020, fire season would be probably number one on everyone's media radar right now. Instead, we have COVID, we have, you know, pro, um, demonstrations out in the streets, but this is fire season. And I truly believe in this as being one of the tools for the fire district to have as well. We introduced um, sheep in 2006 when I was back on city council in Chino Hills. Goats a couple years later, they do a great job. Um, they have that nice soothing sound at nighttime if you're one of the residents happen to be sleeping next to them. But it does take a coordinated effort and prevention is gonna be our theme. We wanna prevent things from happening. When I first got sworn in, I remember coming up on the fire introduction day and we're doing a control burns on these hills right behind us. And then a couple years later, I think last year, I got to respond when we had the fires up here. This is a very hot targeted zone. The residents know it. The residents need to do their part, build defensible spaces around their homes. We as the fire district and county can partner up and bring creative ways to help have this dispensable space. So the next fire comes up, we'll be better prepared going forward. I really wanna thank the leadership of our chief. It's one of the things we talked about is how do we get more preventative um, in our district and all the partners that you have here, including the city and the city water district providing the water. This has been a great partnership and we look forward to having more of those in the future. And thank you um, for leading this way. I'm gonna introduce my vice chair. It also happens to be the supervisor of the area, Josie Gonzalez. Josie. Thank you and good morning to each and every one of you. Thank you for being out here today. We are taking note of um, a long, old way of uh, doing fire prevention that's coming into, once again, fashion, fad, opportunity. San Bernardino County is determined to be a good fire prevention element. It also not only reduces the um, loss of property, um, but and, and the and increases the uh, better air quality, but also it saves money. It's not only environmentally friendly, it saves us a lot of money. Every time our firemen have to respond to fires that we already know take place year after year, we know we're spending money on putting up fires in the same place pretty much at the same time of year. We know this, this is fun. This is good. I think uh, hopefully the kids out here will come out and uh, learn uh, what was it that electrification on the on the fence just a little just a little tad shot. Uh, 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 what is it a nine volt or something like that? That's enough. All right. Um, the fact is that San Bernardino County is determined to be a good friendly environmental county that works together not only with its residents but with its fire department. Uh, wanting to make sure that as we get this message out that the 24 cities within the county realize that this is an opportunity for them also to jump on board, especially those cities have that have fire uh, susceptible areas. Again, year after year, we know where they're at. Uh, city fire departments know where they're at. So it's important that we take this opportunity, come together and partner. Thank you very much and be safe. You know, here in the city of, or the city of San Bernardino and the county of San Bernardino, it uh, doesn't get lost on us that we have devastating uh, wildfires every year. And to mitigate those fires, we have a, a wildland fuels mitigation uh, project, community risk reduction. But on the other side of that lies our special operations wildland firefighting division. And they stay busy year round with hand crews, dozers, uh, airships. And uh, here to talk about that a little bit and the importance of this defensible space and how that helps our firefighters is Battalion Chief Bob Evans. Uh, good morning, Bob Evans of Samuel County Fire. Uh, just want to touch a little bit on the uh, GOAT program. This is a pilot program we're very excited about and it's a cooperative uh, effort between several of the different agencies uh, within the county that have been uh, responsible for making this happen. Um, we're very pleased to see it. I think if you walk around, you'll see some of the great work these goats have already done. This is another uh, card in the deck for uh, fuel abatement. Um, we can do me mechanized abatement on some, some pieces of real estate. This, this here is really too steep for that, um, other than maybe weed whacking with a hand crew and so forth. We've been known to burn this in a, in a fire control environment 
several times uh, throughout the last 20 plus years. Um, but this is another another tool that we're looking at using. We're very excited. I think we're going to see some good results out of this. We'll circle back at the end of the year and, and look at um, fire responses into the area. But as you can see, there's going to be good defensible space behind these homes right behind me. And then afterwards, we're going to put them over across the the way there on Little Mountain East and get in between and around all those residents as well. And uh, even within the last few years, we've tragically lost a few uh, structures there. So I think this is going to be a very valuable tool. Um, it's a responsible and environmentally safe uh, practice. And when we do burn, burn these slopes, there's a lot of logistical support that goes into that, a lot of planning, cooperation with AQMD, things of that nature. But then there's a tendency to have injuries um, there's a cost to doing that, and there's impacts to the residents as well with smoke and so forth. So I think we're going to see some great results, and that's, that's, that's what we're looking at. So thank you. Thank you, Chief Evans. As you all know, uh, defensible space is a very important thing for all the residents to live in a wildland urban interface. You have to abide by those county land use notices that come out every year and give you that opportunity to provide your own defensible space. And when that doesn't happen, the Office of the Fire Marshal will step in and help do that uh, critical enforcement. I'd like to encourage you all to learn more about fire prevention and community risk reduction by going to our website, sbcfire.org, and uh, learn more about defensible space and uh, the community risk reduction program that we have available for you. Also here today, uh, we mentioned a few residents. Michael Martinez is here, a uh, longtime resident of Ridgeline and the uh, Shannon Hills Estates, as well as Jessica uh, uh, Ozuna, who is our Fire Safe Council president. Uh, if you'd like, uh, please ask some questions on how to get involved. And thank you all for coming out today. We really appreciate your time.